temperature increases, DHT level will, will trigger and turn on RGB blue and buzzer and turn on the fan to regulate the temperature. The third part is the description of the project, which is my part. To the base project, I added motion sensor to detect motion and switch on bionet bulb inside the lab. And LDR sensor to detect darkness and switch on bionet bulb outside the lab. And smoke sensor to detect harmful gases and alert lab users. And the fourth part is the components that I use in my project. I used Arduino Mega 2560 LCD, which is I2C, um, DHT11, which is a temperature and humidity sensor, uh, LDR, which is light dependent resistor, motion sensor, and smoke sensor. And here it is the block diagram of my project. This is my Arduino, which is my uh, which is the controller, and then getting a supply from my PC, which is five volts supply. And here it's all, it's all my inputs, which is my sensors. And this side, it is all my output, which is buzzer, RGB, LCD, and, and so fan. And here I'm, I'm running DC fan, because DC fan can't, can't be operated with five volts, I'm using external battery, which is nine volt and relay to operate the fan, and also the bulbs here. And here is my flow chart um, of the magical codes, how it goes. I'm starting here, I'm checking if there is any darkness in the lab. If true, which means it's at night, I'm, I'm going this, this way and check if there's motion in the lab. If there's motion in the lab, I go this side and then light both um, bionet, bionet bulbs. If there is no motion in the lab, I go this side and then light only the outside lab, the outside bulb and keep the, the inside bulb off. If it is false, which means it's during the day, I'm going this side, I check if there is motion. If there's motion, I go this side and then display or light the, the inside bulb and switch off the outside bulb. If there's no motion and there's no darkness, I go this side and then keep everything off. And then, wow. and this is uh, the schematic of my final uh, project, um, how I've connected my components. If there's anyone who would like to uh, do the same project, this is the, something to follow. And here is my PCB, which is my uh, printed circuit board, how I've connected these components uh, in my whatever. Let's go. Over here is my final project. Um, as you can see, RGB is turning uh, green and blue to indicate that there is no smoke in the lab and also temperature is regulated. And also we can see with this uh, green LED. So here we have a motion sensor in here. So as long as there's a movement in the lab, light will go on. And then here there is an LDR that sends if there is darkness and switch on the outside bulb. And here, is a smoke detector that detects smoke and then trigger on the buzzer and then changes the colors of um, RGB. And as you can see, uh, my temperature is regulated and in here there's DHT11 that is responsible uh, for detecting that temperature. And then when temperature goes on or uh, goes high, uh, this 12 volts DC fan should go on to regulate the temperature in the lab. And here is my DHT11 
and now everything is is abnormal. So we will heat it up to check if the DC fan will go on using this fan. And now um, temperature is high and this guy is, is turned on to regulate the temperature and also we can hear by the by a buzzer in here alerting us that the temperature is high. Thank you.